There was once a week where I prayed to end confusion, and I still remember it because it became one of the most decisive weeks of my lifetime. You can have that kind of experience too. Are you in confusion? Are you confused? Well, pray that that confusion will come to an end. It says in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. You know, it's hard to be in peace when you're confused, especially when you're in a, a realm of massive confusion. I pray that you have a peace of God established in your life, and often confusion will be at a time of big change where there is the unknown. Even the good things will bring about confusion. Beginning a new marriage or adding to a family or starting a new job may leave you in a state of being unsure of yourself. And although you're doing the very best that you know how, your life may seem completely out of order or to a point that it's not as orderly as you think that it should be. Confusion adds to the upset and you may even feel as though you're unable to cope uh, saying, I just can't do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know where to go. I don't know how. Such denial is an indication that we feel alone. And we feel somewhat powerless in our efforts. But we're not. We're not. God is with us. We do not need to do anything except realize that, that God is the presence, the power, the guidance in our life. And God will give us the power to make great accomplishments come true. As we act in partnership with God, we allow God's order to come again in our thinking, ending confusion. We become calm and we have focus again. And we know what we're doing again. And we know what we need to do again. And we end confusion. Established in God's order, we have a new positive approach in our relationships and in our responsibilities. And we have a God not of confusion, but a God bringing peace into our lives.